Welcome to my channel, YouTube. It's your boy, Steven. And we digging the trench. We're doing a little underground from a pole inside the house. So, yeah, sorry to do the intro right now, but we've all been working, dealing with some clay. And this clay ain't no joke. Mosquitoes bad out here. This Texas heat is ridiculous, but we're getting to work in. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And let's get into it. Let's go. YouTube, hope everybody having a blessed day today. Thank y'all for tuning in today's video. I truly appreciate it. Um, but in today's video, we're going to be doing an underground. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, show you guys step by step everything that we did. Uh, the goal with this job, we needed to dig a trench from that pole in the back to the edge of the house of the mobile home. And we're going to be running our conduit all the way to where the panel is inside. Uh, so that's what the goal was. Um, so here you just see us digging our trench. Uh, this dirt was pretty tough. It was clay. Uh, we didn't have a pickaxe with us or anything like that, but luckily uh, the customer had an excavator and um, He kind of helped us out with some of the trench especially by the pole because it had a lot of roots and things like that I Think it was an old tree right there. It was tough, but he helped us out I was able to get my side to the 18 inches that we needed it to right now I'm gonna go get some of our material uh, We had to park really really far because he had a lot of things blocking the driveway for us to get closer to where we were working at so I'm just grabbing all of our PVC, all of our fittings, our glue, all of our things that we're going to need to get this job done. Um, basically, from the pole to inside the panel, it should be about 70 to 80 feet. Um, so I just want to make sure we had all our stuff with us. Here's the pole that we're going to be working from. Um, basically, my job is to make me a two-inch hole on the right side so we can have our conduit coming down and having a 90 at the bottom. Um, so now I'm just marking me a line so that everything can be leveled and lined correctly with the other two that we already have there. Um, so I'm just using my quarter inch drill bit and then basically I'll follow that up with my 3 8 drill bit Then I'll get my knockout kit and knock that out at half inch and then follow that up Doing it in two inch and then that's how we'll be able to put our fittings and everything on there Now don't get me wrong. I still like that Milwaukee battery power one. You know, that's my favorite But uh right now I'm gluing my conduit to the MTA get all of that locked in and um, lined up correctly um and then basically after we get all this we're going to be gluing all of our pvc together uh, this is what it looks like right now we have our 90 going down and as you guys can see all of those tree roots i told you it was a little tough right there and then we'll just have everything lined up going up into under the house uh, as you see this is a new mobile home so you know it's not dirty under here at all so i was really really excited about that uh, but here all i need to finish doing now is connecting the rest of my conduit uh, another little note I'll tell you guys is when you are, when you guys are doing the conduit, uh, make sure you put a lot of glue on your bell end. I've made the mistake when we did a wire pull before by not having it flush all the way. And when we had that wire pull, it was getting caught, and we had to end up cutting it. It was a disaster. So just a little tip for you guys. Um, you know, we all make mistakes, but it's just something you guys can learn from. Uh, but right now, um, I'm cutting my 90 just so it can line up perfectly. This pipe coming down is where the panel will be located. Um, so I'm just gluing all of that and make sure that's fitting there perfectly fine. So like I said, with the wire pull, it'll just go in easily. Now that I got that connected, uh, I just need to cut my pipe back some so that I can connect it. I need to put a coupling on one side and then I will put my bell in on the opposite side. Since it was on the ground, I decided to put a little piece that I cut under it so I can put my glue and it'll sit flush on there. So I'm putting my coupling on right now. Make sure you spin that to get that locked in real good. And this is the piece that has the bell in on the other side. I'm cleaning that out so that I can connect that. And then we will have our pipe all the way connected from the pole all the way to the panel. Um, so like I said, everything was definitely going good with this. I just wanted to make sure everything was done correctly with it so we wouldn't have any problems with the wire pull because that's the next thing that we're going to do. I was fighting with it a little bit, um, but I was able to get it seated in there correctly, make sure it wasn't loose, it was seated all the way. Now it's time to clean all of this stuff up. Like I said earlier, this is definitely one of the cleanest mobile homes I have been under. Um, but as you guys can see, this is what it looks like coming from under the house to the pole that we have. Uh, everything is looking good. Now it's time for me to go inside. Um, luckily, the customer had a, a light that I could use because it was pitch black in there. Um, so right now I'm just taking off the front cover of it. Also, this panel that we're working with did not have a lot of room in it at all. So it's going to be a very, very tight pull. Um, I actually end up needing to move some of the breakers out the way just so we can get the wire through. Um, but right here, I'm just pulling some of my fish tape back. Um, this room is really, really small, so this fish tape is going everywhere. 
Uh, but all in all, like I said, it's still going good. Now I'm just getting my jet line. Enough of that. And then we will make our way outside and we're going to start cutting some of this wire. I think it was like 75 to 80 feet, if I'm not mistaken, we end up using. Uh, we made our head outside. I didn't end up showing you guys that. Um, it was just too much going on at that time. Right now, we're getting ready for the pool. You know, I had the honors to do that, unfortunately. But, you know, it's a, it's a part of it. You know, I'm pulling it right now, thinking everything going good. But basically, I'm just pu pulling some of the mule tape. Um, but you'll see me when I get that first little tug i'm like okay i feel it now the head is in pause but um i'm just trying to you know use my legs you know and just kind of easily do it one one step at a time um knowing this is going like 70 80 feet so my co-worker made sure it was soaked up and everything but it is hot in this room like i said it doesn't have power so i was burning up in there and i kind of trimmed the video down we were actually pulling for a little while uh and your boy your boy got tired um i was tired <laughs> i needed to take a break but then my co-worker ended up calling me so i'm gonna let y'all hear the call here you go yeah more or less huh more or less more or less what any more or any less i ain't got it yet oh yeah I stopped my goddamn arm from cramping up. Okay, okay. You know, it's easy for you just to push down. Uh, All right. Are you gonna whine and complain today? You ready? One, yeah. two, three. Now that me and him are both on the same page, um, you will see as the head is getting closer, um, I had to remove some of the breakers like I told you guys earlier. Uh, I thought if I moved the bottom ones, I would be fine. But like I said, this panel is extremely small and to be honest with you i should have just moved them all um before i even start pulling uh, i'm gonna show you guys a picture where i actually um i made a mistake and on my last tug of trying to get the wire i actually hit one of the breakers it was a 15 amp tandem breaker um so just a little little lesson man just kind of be careful when you guys are doing stuff like that uh, i was a little frustrated you know it was on my last pull and you kind of can notice when i hit it but you know, uh, all in all, we got the job done, we got everything pulled. So now it's just kind of time to terminate everything. So that's what I'd be working on next. Let's go. Now, this is one of my favorite things to do, and that's to work in the panels. Uh, I really enjoy, you know, dressing up the panel, having it looking nice and neat. Uh, so that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, my coworker is doing the, the pole outside and I'm doing it inside. Um, this is my neutral that I'm connecting right now. Um, I didn't put any white tape on it because it was al already had the line that identified it as the neutral. Um, so I'm just kind of getting everything tight. Working on my A-phase wire right now, trying to get that dressed up. Um, it was a little tight inside, um, but I was able to get everything taken care of with that. I wish I had some ratchet cutters. You know, these cable cutters are cool, but um, those ratchet cutters would have been a lot smoother for me. Uh, but it's okay. It, it'll come within time. Um, but now I'm still dressing everything up, getting my A-phase in there, trying to get it formed up correctly. Then just making sure everything is tight. Uh, but like I said, man, this job went really, really good. Um, I think we finished around maybe 5 o'clock that day. I think the only thing that kind of slowed us down was really that the clay dirt that we were dealing with. Um, but like I said, the customer kind of helped us out, you know, with having an excavator. He's, you know, kind of helped us dig and everything. So we were very appreciative about that um yeah man it's it's i, I still I tell y'all man every time i look at myself doing these videos i just you know get proud of just how far i've come man, I, I still got a long way to go um but you know these videos when i when i do do them you know i hope that it helps um other young people or you know other people who are joining the trade just to kind of see some of the work that you might be doing um because we, we do everything man and you know just try to be a sponge at just try to be a sponge man you just it's always so much to learn in this trade um and like i always say man it's what you make it you know you're in control of your career but now i got everything dressed up with that um i forgot to record myself doing the ground um i didn't press record but i am going to check the voltage um from phase to phase uh, that should be 240 and then i would do phase to neutral and that should be 120. i check both sides of those make sure we had a correct voltage then i do phase to ground and I got 120 on both. So all in all, man, we did a great job. Um, 
I'm very, very proud of us for, you know, accomplishing this. We got it done. I'm happy I was able to share it with you guys. Now it's time to clean everything up in this room, uh, making sure it was spotless, basically how it was when I got there. Um, so that didn't take me that long um, to, to complete. Uh, the customer stopped us as he seen us uh, kind of covering our trench and told us, hey, he got it. You know, he's like, I'll take care of it for you guys. Don't worry about it since he had his excavator. Uh, so that helped out a lot. You know, we were very appreciative about that. Um, but like I said, man, the job went good, man. I'm just very, very happy about all of that. Uh, this is the finished product of everything. Uh, I think everything came out nice and neat. Uh, also, one thing that I forgot to show you guys is that we got our PVC um, sitting on top of a water pipe. So we had to strap that up, but I forgot to record that to show you guys. But we did do that. Um, but all in all, man, thank you guys again for all y'all support. I truly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.